Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Saturday, May 7th, 2022. Alright, let's get started. One across 750 milliliter bottles? I believe that's the size of a wine bottle, isn't it? Hmm, bottles plural. I would want this to be like a carafe, maybe? But that's just singular, that doesn't really fit. Hmm, what is this gonna be? It has to be a word for a wine bottle. Challenging setting for the 2020 Olympics men's road cycling course. <laughs> um, 2020 Olympics. That was the Olympics that was postponed because of the pandemic, right? Those were in Japan. I wonder if they had a cycling course on Mount Fuji. That's just a guess. Those letters are pretty good though. I like the F and the J beginning words here. I wonder if this could be flasks? I've never really heard of a wine bottle described as a flask before. Let's see if we can build off of that. Playing past regulation informally? Shouldn't that be in OT, in overtime, in like a football or basketball game? Yeah, so it's not going to be flasks. In OT. Hmm. Interesting. Pretend. Maybe it's not a verb. Maybe it's an adjective. Could this be unreal? It's just pretend it's not real. Blank house. It's not a dollhouse. Hmm. Lady Gaga album named for her aunt. Um, I don't know her albums very well. It's not Jolene, is it? That's a Dolly Parton song. Hmm, could it be Jolene? I don't know. We have a grid spanner here. Let's take a look at this. There's no accounting for taste, an equivalent phrase. <laughs> How else would you say that? This is what you say when someone kind of has bad taste in something. It's not my business? Hmm, I don't know. Letters. This is very ambiguous. Is it letters that you would send in the mail or written characters? Hmm, I don't know. Had a craving? Wanted? Hmm. Take time to think about something. I have to do that on the crosswords all the time. I should know what this is. Hmm. I'm not sure. Look at these funny little staircases. These little three letter sections that get us through the center. You know what, let's try starting fresh up in this section here. Blank CJ Walker, first American woman to become a self-made millionaire per Guinness. Ooh, you know, I think I've heard of this woman before. I'm not gonna be able to remember her name though. By ethical standards. Hmm. Is it morally? I think maybe it could be. Is it Molly? Could it be Molly? Cousin of a Lutz. A Lutz is a jump in figure skating. What else do they have? They have a loop? Um. Hmm. Do any of them start with an O? I don't know if they do. Maybe it's not going to be Molly. Hmm. Flowers known botanically as Leucanthemum vulgare. <laughs> I have no idea. Is it orchid? That would fit. I'm not sure about morally, though. Lutz. Hmm. Stops being stubborn. I want this to be relents. Oh no, DT? That's terrible. Target. Hmm, that's a pretty ambiguous clue too. Reese in Touched by an Angel? Um, it's not Reese Witherspoon. I don't know this one. I never watched Touched by an Angel. Affirmative on the USS Enterprise? Hmm, shouldn't that be I, sir? So it's not an orchid, okay. I, sir. 
That means this is not Mali. Okay, that's good to know. State Emblem of Israel. Um, hmm. It's not the Star of David? State Emblem. Hmm. I don't know. More spacious? That should be, like, roomier? Could it be airier? Maybe, like, an atrium could be? Yeah, airier. Carries on. Hmm. Are you just carrying on doing something? You're continuing a behavior? Or is it like carrying onto an airplane? It seems like this should be an S, perhaps. For real? An equivalent phrase? This looks like text speak. Um... I want it to be like, are you serious? <laughs> uh... That would mean airier was not right. R-U-S-R-S? -S? Hmm, this would be an R? Tartarus by another name. Well, I mean, Tartarus is kind of the Greek conception of hell. It's not a one-to-one, -one, but it could be. Um, hmm. What the heck is this? I have no idea. Actress whose nickname derives from her middle name, Stamatina. Um, nickname? Stamatina. Is it going to be Tina something? I wonder if it's Tina Fey. That would fit here. I like this Y. Um, is it like, oh, really? Maybe it's seriously. There we go. We were kind of close with, are you serious? But we get to keep the R now. That's better. Carries on. Hmm. Member of the AFC team with the most division titles. Okay, so this is football, the American Football Conference. I think this has to be Steeler. I know the Steelers have won a lot of division titles. That's a good guess, I think. Target. Hmm, maybe this is a verb. It could be something for, right? Maybe it could be strive for? Ooh, yeah. Carries on. Oh, is it raves? You're like ranting and raving. You're carrying on. You're making a commotion. Does that help here? Maybe it's a menorah. Is that really the state emblem? That's interesting. Menorah, okay. Um, it's not madam, is it? <laughs> this has to be a name, right? Hmm. This is looking like it's ending in sorts. Wouldn't a good equivalent for this maybe be it takes all sorts? I'm pretty sure that's right, yeah. Nice, that helps us build back into this northwest corner here. Um, maybe it's an axle. Yeah, like a triple axle. Okay, that's great. Is it Madam? Oh my god, that's so tricky. Is that her name or is that just her title? Uh, okay, so I think this is going to be Ox Eyes. I have heard of those. Is this Della Reese? I think it has to be. I'm going to leave this blank for now, though, so we don't forget about it. We're not sure about this square. Blank y pimienta? This has to be Spanish. It's something and pimienta. I don't know what this means, though. Hmm. Yeah. We're going to need help on this one. Birthplace of Buddha. Hmm. I have no idea. I wouldn't even know what country he was born in, man. Would it be India? Walks in the park. I really want this to be strolls. Yeah. Um, is it sal, maybe? That would be salt. Maybe pimienta is pepper in Spanish? I think that's a good enough guess to put that in there. Hmm, interesting. Can we go through this little section here? Compliment to a chef? That has to be yum, right? That's what the chef wants to hear. Total, that could be some. Another kind of tricky verb. It kind of looks like a noun. Tepid assessment? Is that going to be 
meh? That's very tepid. They may be mixed. Hmm. Well, you could make a mixed metaphor. Those are kind of funny. Okay. French Calvinist. Hmm. Are they talking about a specific Calvinist? Um. I wonder if they're talking about a Huguenot. Uh. That's a specific kind of group of French Christians. Could that be Huguenot? Eponym of a red and white heraldic rose. Yeah, that could be Tudor. Oh man. Is this Huguenots? That's crazy. I actually live in a part of upstate New York where the Huguenots ended up settling. Yeah, they started in France, went to Germany for a little while, and then ended up in New York State. That is so cool. I really hope this is Huguenot. Um, it's gonna be like this? Yeah, I think that's right. A-E, uh-oh. Nikki Blank, beauty vlogger with more than 13 million followers on YouTube. I have no idea, that is way out of my ken. PG looks a little strange too. Replenish, that should be top off. Hmm, maybe I was barking up the wrong tree here. Oh, wait a minute, it's not gonna be top off. That's too long. Maybe it's top up. Yeah, okay. It still means our original answer here was not right. Sap, maybe that could be deplete? That's a nice piece of fill. Outfit with flaps and snaps. Could that be a onesie for a baby? Thought and thought and thought about? Is that gonna be stewed about? I think so. Um, did I just spell Huguenot wrong? I must have. Is it like this? Huguenot? Ooh, yeah, I think that might be right. That is so cool. I love that that ended up in the puzzle. Wow. A little bit of local flair in my crossword puzzle today. You don't have to tell me an equivalent phrase. Maybe that's I saw. One of the few places where traffic is appreciated. <laughs> is that going to be a website? Ticked off? Hmm, this is going to be making someone angry? I guess it could be about counting. Hmm, move around. That should be rotate. You're like rotating people through a position. Maybe this is teed off. That is about being angry. We have the very end of this grid spanner. Let's see what this is. Eliminate from contention. This looks like it wants to be cross off the list. Very nice, okay. I wonder if we can build back up here and finish off this corner before we finish in the southwest here. Quickly put down, that could be jaunt. J is interesting here. Hmm, I'm not gonna know her name though. Escape. Maybe it's gonna be something free? Could it be get free? Yeah, very nice. Make it game-wise? Game-wise, what does that mean? Make it? Oh, that's weird. I like telling blank jokes. Sometimes he laughs. Um, is it just gonna be him? What else could go there? Him. Uh, is it really Mejiger? Hmm. I've never heard of that person before. Make it game wise. Is it rig? Is this talking about rigging a game? Hmm. Mimicked. No, that doesn't seem right. Mimicked. It's past tense. Let's take this out. Man, yeah, this area was a little too far out of our sphere of knowledge. Let's see if we can get some crossing help down here and maybe build back up. Suffix akin to Orama? Is that going to be fest, maybe? More affected, uh-oh. Well, this suffix doesn't help very much. Pays in the Alps? And this is wordplay, so I guess it's not about giving someone money in Switzerland or France. Pays in the Alps. Maybe it's the word for pays in French or German? 
or Italian? Hmm, I don't know. The Divine Miss M. I have no idea who this is. This has got to be a nickname. Give a lift. Maybe this is not about giving someone a lift in a car. Could it just be boost? You're physically lifting someone up? Hmm. A long-haired star of 1950s television. <laughs> oh my god, I have no idea. That's a little before my time. We are ending in a B here. That's unusual. Way to go. An equivalent phrase. It seems like that should be nice job. Ooh. No, it's not. That's too long. It has to be job though, right? Hmm. Check attachment. Okay, so this is something that would be attached to a check? Like a check that you'd write out from your checkbook? Is it going to be a slip of some kind? Hmm. The Divine Miss M. What is this? I have no idea. More affected. Hmm. I mean, it could be like a person that was more affected by an event. Or it could be someone behaving in a more affected manner. They're kind of putting on airs. I have no idea which one that's going to be. Prefix with night or day. Hmm. Seems like there's a lot of possibilities here. Network with Joy Reads The Readout. I'm pretty sure that's MSNBC. Um, <laughs> what is this big job? Hmm. Decorated athlete whose name could be parsed as zero plus loss. Uh, hmm. Decorated athlete. Is this a specific athlete? Like a person? Is it going to be no loss? Hmm. I'm confused about this one. Family prefix. Is it going to be step? Like a stepsister or a stepbrother? Prefix with night or day. Okay, this could be midnight, midday. British singer with the hits How We Do, Party, and Your Song. I have a feeling I've heard of this person. Those song titles sound familiar. Hmm, I wonder if I'm going to know this singer. Lesser used passages. It looks like it's going to be side. Could it be side roads? That doesn't quite fit. Hmm, I think it's going to be something like that, though. Up. Ooh, that's so ambiguous. Is it risen? Is this plural? Letters. Yeah, it could be. So maybe risen is correct. Oh, is this Rita Ora? It's her full name. Yeah, she's on the crossword a lot because of her last name, O-R-A. Wow, she gets the full treatment today. Good for her. Okay. Um, N-A? Is it Nadal? Nadal. Why would that equal zero plus loss? Is that in Spanish? Does that make sense in Spanish? Maybe it does. P-A-J? Hmm. I don't know if it is Nadal. Unless it's not Job. Hmm. What in the world is this? <laughs> this is so strange. More affected. Hmm. You know what? This O-E looks really, really weird. I think boost must be wrong here. Because it's making this look really weird. Yeah, this must be incorrect, this B. So, what would this be then? Some kind of slip still? I don't know. Okay, I just took a minute to think about what else this could be. Maybe we were close with boost. Could it be hoist? That's another way to give someone a lift. And then maybe way to go could be booyah. <laughs> yeah, it's very informal. This could be a pay slip, right? That could be attached to your check, your paycheck. 
I don't know why this is Nadal. It seems like that's what it's gonna be. This could be side doors, passages. They're not talking about a passageway. They're talking about a doorway. Um, let's put in Nadal. Is this gonna be Lassie? Oh my God, that's diabolical. It's not a person, it's a long haired dog. You know what's so clever about this is there's not a space between long and haired. I think if it was a person, it would be long space haired. But because they're talking about a dog breed, a long haired dog breed, it's all one word. That is a fantastic clue. So this is Arliser? That can't be right. Maybe this is a pace stub. Yeah, and this could be artsier. It is about putting on airs. You're being artsy. So this is Swiss, Pays in the Alps. I don't get this one. Um, I mean, Credit Suisse is a bank. I think Swiss means Switzerland. Um, I don't know how that equals Pays in the Alps. I mean, Switzerland is in the Alps, so that makes sense. Hopefully the goose can help us out with this one. I have no idea. Um, and then this is going to be pet, P-E-T-T-E. -E. Oh wait, no, this is paste stub. We have to replace this P. So this is going to be bet. Oh, maybe they're talking about bet midler. That would make sense. Okay. All right, let's see if we can make some more progress up here. Hmm, I'm not sure about this one, but this one is starting to look like had a craving, could maybe be hankering? Or maybe it should be hankered because it's had in the past tense. Hankered, yeah. Take time to think about something. This is starting to look like it should be sleep on it. Yeah, excellent, okay. I wonder if we can clean up this little section here. Mimicked, is that did? You did an impression of someone? Ooh, that's tricky. Oh, it's make it game-wise. You're making someone it in the game of tag. Oh man, that's tricky. Okay, um, I like telling dad jokes. Sometimes he laughs. <laughs> that's so meta. It's a dad joke with dad jokes in it. Oh my god. Okay, so this is Nikki de Jaeger, possibly? Yeah, I've never heard of her before. She has tons of followers, though. Oh my god. Um, okay. Oh, is this going to be fifths? Yeah, okay. So they're not talking about wine, necessarily. They're just talking about liquor, because sometimes liquor comes in fifths. Okay. So this is going to be FR. Oh, this could be a frat house. There we go. So this is not Jolene. That's good. Maybe it's Joanne. Letters. Oh my god. Is this going to be tenants? Yeah, because they're letting a room. They're renting a room. Wow, is that tricky. I love that. That is such a Saturday clue. Tenants. And this should be Nepal, right? So I think I must have used the French spelling for salt instead of the Spanish spelling. Yeah, let's put an A in here. And then we wanted this to be Madame and Della, right? All right, well, let's throw that D in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Saturday puzzle in 32 minutes. I guess that's a decent time for a fairly challenging Saturday puzzle. All right, first order of business. Let's talk about Rafael Nadal over here. I had to think about this for a few minutes and I finally realized what they're going for here. This almost feels like something that would show up in a cryptic crossword. Yeah, so if you parse Rafael Nadal's name in two parts, if you have nada, that could equal zero, right? And this L here could stand for loss. Yeah, sometimes you have to take the L, take the loss, yeah. Very, very tricky, very cryptic. I like that a lot. A couple of the other clues in this puzzle that I absolutely loved were letters for tenants. That is just classic, super tricky Saturday cluing. I also liked this clue for Lassie here, long-haired star. 
I love when they give you little subtle hints like that. And if you can pick up on them, it's a huge advantage. This clue for metaphors was pretty nice too. They may be mixed. That's pretty tough. Yeah, you have to kind of think in an abstract way there. And of course, I love that Huguenot showed up. We had a little bit of my hometown flavor in this puzzle. That was really, really cool. Yeah, this puzzle had a really nice variety of different things. It had tricky cluing. It had a couple of really nice grid spanners that were kind of just nice equivalents. I really like it takes all sorts. That's really funny. There was just some silly cluing too. This was hilarious. I couldn't stop laughing when I finally realized what this should be. All right, well, I'm happy we can cross this Saturday puzzle off the list. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the nice long lazy Sunday solve. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time.